an inmate at the California State Prison, San Quentin. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Do you want to talk about the verdict first? Wow, it was crazy. It was just like this amazing, horrible physical reaction that I had. I couldn't feel my feet on the floor. I couldn't feel the chair I was sitting in. My vision was even a little blurry. And I just had this weird sensation that uh, I was falling forward and forward and, and down. And there was going to be no end to this falling forward and down. Like there was no floor to land on. I, mean, I, I was staggered by it. I had no idea it was coming. The case of State versus Scott Peterson to me feels like it just happened yesterday. We begin the news with a holiday mystery in the Central Valley. Lacey went missing Christmas Eve. She's 27 years old and she is over eight months pregnant. Why don't you answer some questions? Why don't you answer some questions? 24-7 news is entertainment. Like any good entertainment, there's a formula for winning over the audience. Find a defendant who's enviable. O.J. Simpson is sitting in the back seat, and he has a gun at his head. Are they wealthy? And Martha Stewart, Kenneth Lay. Are they powerful? Scooter Libby or, you know, Gary Condit. Are they someone who depends on their popularity for their livelihood? You know, Kobe Bryant. I'm innocent. Michael Jackson. The media has dissected and manipulated these allegations to reach their own conclusions. And probably most importantly, are they attractive? Or is the victim attractive? And, you know, that's Scott Peterson and Lacey Peterson. The Peterson case has now taken on celebrity status. A story of sex, lies, so many lies, and oh yes, murder. Hey, Dan. Dan, you can see uh, the press that is around here, just quite the throng of people. He didn't look like he was grieving. They discovered there was another woman in his life. We did have a romantic relationship. Everybody likes an inspirational story, but what makes you tune in to watch a show day after day after day is because you're angry. To me, that was the formula. Find the defendant, Scott Lee Peterson, guilty of the crime of murder. With a great big smile on his face. Well, guess what, Scotty? San Quentin's your new home. And it's, it's illegal to kill your wife and child in California. There were just too many things that you would have to ignore to think that he didn't do it. I remember Scott referring to his wife in the past. With the information I had in that trial, he was guilty. Eventually, he'll be put to death. I mean, if it was my child, that would be extremely difficult to deal with. But he's not my child because he murdered my child. So as far as I'm concerned, he's where he needs to be. They have a conviction. They believe in that conviction in their heart of hearts. So will they be looking into what happened to Lacey and Connor? No, they believe they know already. I believe they got it wrong. If you know this case from watching television, probably almost everything you believe to be true about the case is not. There was no biological evidence no forensic evidence whatsoever that pointed to the guilt of Scott Peterson. The reason the police weren't able to find any evidence of a murder inside this house is because no murder occurred inside this house. The important house was this house. This house was being burglarized. After I talked to the policeman and gave him my statement that I had seen the dog in the park, nothing was followed up. There's at least 11 witnesses that saw Lacey that day. This is all while Scott's at the office on his computer. So he's innocent. Did you murder your wife? They wanted a bad guy in this case. Nobody wants to hear, we don't know what happened. I wasn't the last one to see Lacey that day. There were so many witnesses who saw her walk in the neighborhood after I left. The cops just never followed up on the burglar across the street. The police failed upon my family.